Hi, this is Elva Tacho, and I'm going to show you how to use Google Sites for student portfolios. The first step to creating a student portfolio via Google Sites is to go to sites.google.com. Once you arrive to this website, in this top banner, you will see many different templates. The first one will always say blank. If you are more creative, I suggest going to this and creating your own design. For others who are not so creative like myself, I suggest student portfolio. Once the site loads, if you scroll, you will see there items already attached in this. Students can easily fill in this information with their own. But the first step is always customization. I would have students highlight this and put their name and the word portfolio right after it, or whatever you want it to be. The second step to customization is editing this picture. Students can go to image, and the two easiest options are upload and select. If students click upload, it'll go take them to their files on their computer. Select is the easiest out of those two. Students can pick between a preloaded gallery of pictures by URL, search, your albums, and their entire Google Drive. For this instance, I'm going to search. Because I am a seventh grade geography teacher, I'm going to type in geography. I will select this older map. One thing Google Sites does is transform the background. You can see it faded out the background and transformed my font from the color white to black so it is easier to look at. If you scroll down, you will see an About Me page that is preloaded so students can type whatever they want in there. But if you want them to create their own section, all students have to do is select text box. Once they click it, a text box will appear. I'm going to type in the word welcome. But now there's an issue. I don't want it to be regular text. I want it to be bold like this. So students click back in the text box, select normal text, and select whatever style that they would like. I will click title. Now I have a heading. For students to showcase any pieces or assignments that they've done in class on their portfolio, the easiest way to do this is selecting Google Drive on the right. They have to click one of the tabs up here from My Drive, Share Drive, Shared With Me, etc. If they wish, they can search up here for the certain assignment. That is what I'm going to do. The name of my assignment was Copy of Australia. I'm going to click Enter. Right here, I can see the Google Sites presentation that I want to add. Students can either double click to add it or click and select Insert. And then it is loaded in. Then all students have to do to customize it further is Click that item, select the settings gear, and then auto start. Then whoever visits their page will be greeted with this presentation as it automatically scrolls through. In order to stop it, they select that gear again, auto start, and done. In order for students to further add any content they would like, such as a YouTube video, they can scroll down. This section has many different options that students can add. I'm going to click YouTube. Now, you can either search whatever you want on here or anything that you have previously uploaded. For myself, I have already copied the link from this YouTube video and going to paste it and search it. It automatically pops up. You select whichever one you want, then click select. 
and it is automatically loaded in. In order for students to share their portfolio on Google Classroom, what they first must do is click Publish. They must name their Google Sites, which will have a preloaded address. They must create the last part. I'm going to name mine Elva Portfolio. As you can see, it's already taken. Once one is available, you click publish and it is done. In order for students to copy the link, they must go back up to publish, select the arrow beside it, publish options, and click view publish site. Here, students can scroll down and see the site they have created. In order to add it to Google Classroom, all they must do is click the address bar, copy the link, and simply paste it into whatever assignment they need. Unfortunately, because this is the teacher view of Google Classroom, I will not be able to show you what it looks like on the student side. However, they can add the Google portfolio straight from their Google Drive. If I edit this assignment, you will be able to see it from my side. If I select Drive and Recent, you will be able to see Student Portfolio is already added in there. Once student added to their assignment, all they have to do is click Submit, and then their portfolio is done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video tutorials.